so I am here to give you a sense of, you know, at a macro level, what we are doing based on feedback we are hearing from customers, what we see the technology landscape, and uh, just share with you, you know, the, the kind of roadmap at a macro level. Clearly, uh, Amit and the engineering team will focus into OS 10, something that we've just uh, announced this week, so very excited about it. Uh, before kind of we go into uh, kind of the macro level view, um, what are things that are of top of mind for you guys? I mean, what, what are things that you'd want to hear? Maybe we go, go around the room quickly if you have any particular things that you want highlighted. And any particular, uh, Ethan? With, let, let me start with you <laughs> <Yeah>. first. <laughs> um, the disaggregated model and how you're going to sell that is very interesting. Okay. Um, okay. I was here at the announcement earlier okay. in the week, okay. and uh, you let, made let, a very big deal uh, about open okay. um, and in what ways you're open and okay. so on because that word gets abused badly by okay. marketing groups. So let, let's hear it in detail. Okay. And then, again, the disaggregated model, OS ten is part of it. How are you not? Uh, pissing off your existing partners. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um, that is one. Uh, yeah, old APIs, programmability, integration to DevOps tooling. Okay. Like APIs, okay. Um, okay. Integration. <coughs> Any, not not uh, to monopolize, but to, another thing. Uh, how does Dell take the Dell networking component and begin selling a full IT stack into the data center because to me that's one of your big plays. Okay. You've got all the pieces to the puzzle now. How are you going to bundle and sell that? Okay. Fair. Other people? Let me just go around. There. Huh? Containers. Containers. Mm -hmm. Good. We, we'll have some demos and so on. Anyone else? Greg? Anything? I want all the things. All the things. All okay. the things, and I want to pay nothing for them. Okay. <laughs> just, let's just get that one out okay. of the way. Good. Um, I think the thing that um, I want to see is I want to see how we can drive customers to use this technology. So instead okay. of sitting on a 10-year-long cycle in the data center with switches that cost a billion dollars, and then you can't get rid of them because they cost so much. I'd like to see how we can make what I call a compostable architecture. Absolutely. What I mean by compostable is how do I throw my stuff away after three years and replace it? Okay. Because it's cheap enough to just not have to keep it in the data center and let it rot in the racks because, you know what, we haven't depreciated it yet or something like that. Okay. That's, I think, good good set of questions. And feel free to, I think, uh, you know, be interactive. You know, we, we want questions. Uh, we want to make sure, you know, you get the questions answered as we go throughout the day. So, you know, from a Dell networking perspective, we take a comprehensive view. And, you know, we focus on the data center, we focus on the campus, as well as on the branch uh, and remote offices, right? And we, given, we have a unique position as Dell. You know, we sell servers, we sell storage, we sell into the data center a complete stack. Similarly, even you know, on the offices, campuses, you know, we have a significant client business, as you know. So we get inputs from all of these groups and we collaborate with them. So we'll share with you some of those insights that we see working with them as well as working with customers. And with that, we'll share with you what we are doing. Clearly, focus will be on OS 10, but I want to also give you a macro picture, okay? So in the data center, if you look at what's going on in the storage, storage is going through a lot of changes, okay? Flash, you know, has changed the landscape over the last five years. NVMe is coming. You know, you, you guys uh, possibly, you know, hopefully see NVMe, and that is going to go over fabric. So essentially, you've got really high IOPS, really low latencies, uh, and going doing distributed scale-out architecture of storage. So this means networking starts to play a significant role, whether it's the Nutanix of the world, whether it's all the other software-defined storage options. Okay, so that's impacting the fabric quite a bit. In the application space, or the server space, we see, first of all, the three-tier applications now, if they, somebody is rewriting them, they're using completely distributed approach, microservices-based, and, and that, again, 
lends itself to more east-west traffic and so on. Security, clearly a big focus area, right? Whether it's uh, micro-segmentation or security, all the way through, okay? Convergence continues. Uh, we, we, we see that continue to evolve. DevOps model, the model that web and cloud guys have started, that is percolating down into the enterprise. So with that, you know, they want openness. Openness in the hardware stack, openness in the software stack. And that is something that we are pursuing with our open networking strategy. So clearly, as I said, you know, from a networking perspective, bandwidth, latencies, particularly with RDMA, you know, in the storage world, th those are important. So we are pursuing all of those as we introduce new switches, focuses around lower latencies, higher bandwidth. From a simplifying of operations perspective, agility, automation, those are key. And, and we'll, as we work through, give you demos, you will see how all of that comes together. Open networking, clearly we started this trend uh, and, and we, 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 we were the first tier one vendor two years back to embrace it. We believe the same paradigm shift that occurred in the compute world over the last 20 years. So vertically integrated to disaggregated x86 server with the certain benefits of innovation happening at every layer, being able to offer a compelling cost-effective solution. Same benefits we believe will be available in networking and we've seen that. Now we have approximately 400 customers who've adopted that open networking paradigm. Right? And, and we are making sure as we develop solutions for the data center, together with our server and storage team, we are integrating networking to be a comprehensive solution that is easy to deploy and manage. So those are the key focus areas that, that we have. Okay? And as I said, when we look at this notion of open networking and disaggregation, we actually view this disaggregation in three different ways. So we are taking a very holistic view not just a switch by switch basis. So the first paradigm is if you take a switch, you can take the OS and the switch hardware, and that is enabled by ONI. And we've been down that path, and as I said, you know, lots of excitement, lots of customers. The other way to disaggregate is where you have the overlay and the underlay. And this is where we partner with players like VMware and SX. The automation, agility, feature richness comes from the software layer. And as you know, software can innovate much faster than hardware ASICs. So the paradigm is you deploy the network, the underlay, and you basically deploy a highly resilient, highly scalable fabric, and then you don't need to touch it. All the agility and automation and everything comes from the software layer. And then the third approach is where you can do it you know, the way where SDN started back in the universities where control plane and data plane is segregated. So we take a very comprehensive view and as we introduce new products and new solutions, we want to support a comprehensive set so that a customer has choice. He can, and these are all not mutually exclusive, right? So you can adopt whichever paradigm you think is appropriate for you, okay? Just a quick recap of the product set for the data center, right? We have the Z series for more of the spine, the core layer, S series for the server storage access layer, and we have Blade IO, so whether it's a Blade server or new form factors of Blades. So we have portfolio and we continue to innovate on each one of these areas. I mean, like we introduced Z9100, the first, industry's first, multi-rate 10, 25, 40, 100 gig, 50, 100 gig switch, right? The S series, we continue to innovate and come up with the latest <coughs> 10, 25 gig switches so you can connect to the servers. And in the Blade, we've recently introduced uh, you know, new server form factor called FX2, a 2U server which can do, fit up to eight servers. And we have integrated networking there. So this is the comprehensive view of the data center networking portfolio. Similarly, for the campus as well and branches, you know, we have product set that span from the campus core. And there, we've done some innovative solutions where with the C-series, now we have this view of one network. So, you know, you have this, you probably are familiar with the Cisco FEX architecture, very similar architecture in the campus. In fact, it makes more sense in the campus because most of your traffic is not south. So being able to manage, you know, the entire network from one point is very, very compelling. 
So this we introduced, we see a lot of traction in the customer base. Then we have the N series and the X series for the stackable lines in the wiring closet. And then we have wireless solutions, the W series and the Arrowhive, right? And, and we are partnering closely with the Sonic Wall guys as well for really small you know, uh, offices and small uh, uh, campuses, okay? And our focus, by the way, as Dell, given that we own not only networking assets, but the server storage assets as well. You know, as you know, Dell is number one, number two in the x86 server market, right? And we have a significant portfolio of storage. With the acquisition of EMC, we will be the largest storage provider, okay? So we continue to focus on <coughs> solutions, whether in the compute side, together with storage, or focused on cloud virtualization. And you may have heard, you know, we at Dell have introduced uh, complete integrated, to your point, Greg, you know, how do you look at it comprehensively? So we look at the data center and believe that it is evolving to be a software-defined data center. And there, we are putting all of these pieces and partnering with Microsoft mm -hmm. to introduce the hybrid cloud solution. We were the first to introduce that so customers can deploy it in their private cloud and they can burst to Azure so with the similar experience. So that was our solution with Microsoft on the hybrid cloud. We also have similar solutions with VMware and for OpenStack, where we are partnering with Red Hat on that. And then, but, but does your sales team sell it this way? And I bring this up to contrast to some of your competitors. They sell every technology silo distinctly, not as a unified so, so, thing. So our approach has been that we are doing both, right? We clearly are selling networking a la carte in the best of breed, but we are also selling as an integrated where you can roll in the entire rack or a few racks and you can deploy a private cloud that can burst to the public cloud with a hybrid cloud solution. So we are doing both. And we are seeing quite a bit of interest, by the way, on some of these. Microsoft, as you know, has been ramping their Azure you know, hybrid cloud solutions and we are partnering very closely. We have a significant number of customers that are deploying it. In the campus side as well, you know, a solutions focus approach is important. So we have solutions for link, you know, where you have unified communications. We have VDI, you know, as you know, Dell acquired WISE. So with that, we have, we are one of the, uh, you know, big providers of VDI solutions. So our networking is integrated as part of VDI. Branch, branch solutions. So we have a product called Vertex. It's a small, you know, uh, kind of server that has storage, servers, networking integrated. So we are part of that. Uh, security, you know, security has been a big focus for us with Sonic Wall. So we have solutions where we are integrating our X series switches with them. Uh, and, and that's the solution that we announced at Dell World some time back. Now, let me just give you a sense of, you know, most recent products that we've done. And, and, and we are going to deep dive into some of them. OS 10. Gavin introduced the notion of OS 10. And we're going to spend a significant point, uh, uh, amount of time today. And the notion is we started disaggregating hardware and the OS two years back. And now we are taking the OS and disaggregating the OS itself. And then we'll go into more of the details of how uh, that helps customers, what we are doing, and so on. So that's a key focus for us. We have a tool called Active Fabric Manager. That's there to simplify deployments for like, small, medium-sized customers. So that's a network management tool that helps customers deploy networking. From an open networking partner perspective, you know, we started with Cumulus. We've been expanding the partnerships. Now we have four partners. And, and we continue to grow that. Interest is growing significantly. As I said, about 400 customers that have adopted various kinds of solutions here. From a hardware perspective, you know, in order to match the demands, meet the demands of bandwidth, latencies, and so on, we've been introducing multi-rate switches, the Z9100, the Z, the S6100, multiple options available to customers, and they give you connectivity from 10 gig all the way to 100 gig, right? And it's, it's very cost effective, gives you good uh, migration path, and many customers today don't believe that you know, big modular chassis are necessary. With the kind of capacity that these solutions offer, 
it's pretty good for a lot of comp a lot of enterprise customers. <coughs> we introduced, as I said, for new forms of service, connectivity options with FNIOM. Another thing that we recently did is for the HPC market. This is called Omnipath. So in the HPC market, if you guys follow that, you know, there is Ethernet, but more importantly, there's been InfiniBand. So most customers have been deploying InfiniBand for the lowest latencies. This technology is from Intel, and we are partnering with Intel to be able to offer even better latencies and better solutions for HPC environment. So this was launched at Supercomputing. We're seeing a number of, you know, lots of interest from certain segments of the market. And then finally, as I talked about, this is for the campus where we've introduced this notion of one network where focus is around simplification and you know, being able to manage things easily. So this is kind of a, I'll, I'll pause here and, and, and see if you know, clearly we are gonna go down and spend a lot of time around the new OS and, and perhaps give you a demo also if there is enough time of this new architecture. Let me just pause here and see if you have questions. How are you going with campus penetration? So some of the things, like campus is almost the forgotten switching infrastructure that nobody talks about because nothing cool is happening there some way. But volumes, are you making penetration in that market? So, so you know, the, view, the way we view campus is we've taken a notion of small, medium businesses, mid-sized companies, and large companies. So we've kind of segmented it that way. Yep. For the small kind of enterprises, small you know, companies, we've got new set of products that we've launched, X-Series, mm -hmm. very small, cost-effective. We are integrating it tightly with SonicWall. SonicWall has significant presence in the small, medium kind of businesses. Yeah. So we've got really tight integration there, so that is what we are pursuing in a small. In the mid-size, many of the companies have you know, stackable lines and we've refreshed the stackable lines about a year back with the N series. Mm -hmm. so, so that is you know, what we sell into that. And there, we also work with, from the wireless front, with Arrowhive to offer a compelling solution. For the larger enterprises, or say mid-size enterprises, there we have introduced this new architecture of one network. So we, we, yep. we are kind of segmenting it and, and offering right solutions that meet the needs of that market from a price from a capability perspective. So that's kind of, and, and it's big, as, as I think, Greg, you're pointing out, the yeah. campus market is still significant size. Yeah. And the last time we looked at Deloro numbers, gig market is not going down. It's still stable and it's still healthy. So, yeah. so we continue to focus there as well. So good, 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 good question. Thanks. Any, any? Um, I'm sorry, the Omnipath. So that's the Intel collaboration with their Fabric Interconnects. Is that mainly focused at the HPC networking Correct. industry? So, so that would be for customers who are doing you know, deep science and stuff. Absolutely. So, so in the HPC world today, pretty much most customers have InfiniBand and a little bit of Ethernet. Yep. So Omnipath is an alternative that Intel has come out with. And initially, the focus of Omnipath is for that HPC set of customers. So lots of labs, universities, those are areas where a lot of interest. Mm -hmm. Over time, we, we kind of see that extend into the generic market, but right now it's focused on the HPC. Think it'll be an MVME fabric? You know, it could be because the bandwidth and the latencies are significant. Mm. And with Intel behind it, they can put, it, put the interconnect right into the socket yeah. rather than going in through the PCI and so on. So fundamentally, Intel has you know, the ability to integrate it tightly with the server platform, yeah. and it potentially could be an NVMe scale-out kind of fabric. NVMe needs a fabric. So. Correct. So, so I think initially I don't see that as much. It's going to be Ethernet, but over time it could be.